Yo, yo, All Done Fitness from Los Angeles, California. Uh, talking to you today to discuss a little bit more by what we say, do it yourself, okay? Under All Done Fitness principles, do it yourself, what does that mean? Uh, first of all, let me just tell you a quick story. I don't know how long this will go, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get my shop all set up. So, you know, throughout the development of um, our principles, uh, uh, a lot of friends and I um, uh, talked about uh, ideas on what things to put on. And of course, in sequential order, or I would say in order. Uh, so uh, when you uh, get the time to understand the All Done Fitness principles, uh, they are actually in order, in order for you to achieve a goal or to uh, uh, complete your goal. So uh, the story goes like this. Um, you know, Jerry has always, honestly, has always been the one cooking, and he's been helping me out uh, prep for competitions year in and year out, especially after 2009. And after that, um, I believe I competed like three times every year. So he did a lot of cooking. Of course, you know, I chipped in paying for the food, most of the food, the majority of the food, that was the reason why. But then uh, um, along with that, um, uh, with him cooking, um, of course, I did, you know, the training, making, making some extra stuff, you know, making some change to afford the food. Um, but I had parties, fitness parties, where I would say they're actually just seminars and um, bodybuilding posing classes. Uh, and I wanted to feed my people. I wanted to feed my, my friends. I wanted to feed not only my friends, but my clients and inspire them to uh, motivate them to finish up their goal because it's tough if you don't have that support. So I was just trying to make it like a nice meal plan together with posing class. So that stuff took money and time on people's part. And I asked Jerry uh, one time, this is one time here, I can't remember what month or whatever, but it was one time during a posing class, I needed him to cook some food uh, for the people. And um, he didn't want to cook that day. I was pissed. I was like, why not? What's going on? We even went to like South Center to pick up like pampano or some special fish, but he didn't want to actually go buy it anymore. He didn't want to, we, got, we went to South Center after church and uh, he didn't want to do this. And I was like, oh, well, come on, let's get some pampano for the family, for the people, for the, for the guests. So he was pissed, I was like, ah, okay, let's just go home. So we ended up going home all the way from Tequila back home to Beacon Hill to prep. And he was just pissed off that day. I don't know why, but I totally understand too. After the fact, uh, what he what he, what he was trying to say, and um, so you know, he goes, "Do it yourself. Do it yourself." Cause I've been cooking. I've been cooking for years. And he was right. And um, if he ever gets to watch this this uh, clip, I just know that um, I love my boy Jerry. He, he, back, he was there, he was my role dog and cooked and, and like motivated me and pushed me uh, to, com to complete victory. So, you know, without my cousin, I couldn't have done anything. So he taught me that lesson. It was do it yourself. And uh, it stuck, it stuck uh, in my head and I, it just confirmed everything that when you want to achieve a goal, it's your desire. Um, you can push and you can ask people to help you out and get their support. But the honest truth is that uh, if it's your goal, especially if it's your physique goal, you got to do it yourself, okay? Uh, of course, you can hire a coach and your trainer, as you guys are doing. Uh, that's why you're working with All Done Fitness. But um, you need to understand that uh, most of the work, the sweat, the effort is actually going to come from you and you alone. It's your goal, your physique, you gotta do it yourself. So that's rule number two. So <laughs> I should say it's not rule number two, it's, it's principle number two, that's a principle. That was a concept, that's the principle. And rules, I don't know, they're made to be broken sometimes, so don't stress out. Okay, so um, along with uh, what you guys hire coaches to do, hire trainers, and um, uh, uh, mentors to help you and guide you along the way to fulfilling your goal. 
Um, you can only expect, you know, I would say only just three things from a coach, okay? I'll call myself a coach, okay? Some of you guys call me Shifu or even Master Splinter, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how that came along. Uh, but you can just call me Mr. All Done Fitness or a good friend. Yeah, I, I don't mind uh, being your coach. You know, that's, if that's what you say, yeah, I'm your coach. I'll guide you the right way to accomplish your goal, which is your physical fitness goal. So three things um, that I can summarize for you in which you, the client who hired the person, the coach, or me, uh, there's three things. One, let me get to it. Uh, we will track and monitor your progress, okay? Uh, it's plain and simple, but we do this, I do this on a weekly basis, okay? I may be late, but I'm still gonna track your progress. Okay, two, um, I um, will provide recommendations. What recommendations? Food suggestions, okay? Workout routine suggestions, cardio suggestions, and supplement recommendations, okay? So that's what I would do as your coach, and that's what's something you can expect from me. Okay. And one big one that you can expect from a coach or from me is that you can be, you can be sure that we're going to note your problems, <laughs> your issues. We're not, we're not pointing blame on you or anything like that, but what we're going to do is Identify, we have to identify um, problems that you're facing uh, undergoing this program, of course. You hired me to look out for you, and I'm just saying, hey, I see the big picture, but you know what? Step back, let me tell you this. So, um, 